Next, we're going to cover a little bit about cleanup on your press. Now, there's a product that you want readily available next to your press at all times. It's called Screen Opener. Screen Opener basically allows you to quick clean the screen or the image area. Now, why would you want to use Screen Opener? Here's a couple reasons why. Screen Opener uh, is a very powerful product that can purge a screen or clean the outside of the screen. A couple of the ways I use Screen Opener. First off, if you're printing, flashing, and printing a lot, the problem is, is that if your flash dryer gets your t-shirt too hot, especially if you only have a one station press or a two station press, or if you're doing a lot of printing and flashing and your palettes get really warm, as you bring your screen down, sometimes your ink is so hot underneath, as you pull your ink across, it could slightly cure your ink. If that happens, a standard squeegee pull won't open up the screen mesh. Another reason to use screen opener is if your screen's been sitting a long time with ink in your image area, the ink will dry. Now, plastic ink doesn't cure until it hits 320 degrees, but if it's a hot shop or if it sits a very long time, and especially if there's not a whole lot of ink, let's say there's just a little bit of ink left in the screen area, then it could dry in the mesh. Screen opener will blow out that cured ink or that dried ink directly out of your image area. One point to keep in mind, if you leave your job overnight or for a couple days or if you clean your screen out, you always want to leave your ink out of your image area. Look at this image area here. All our ink is printed through the mesh and we have no ink stuck in our mesh. That's how you want to leave your screen. This is how you don't want to leave your screen. You don't want to leave your screen with ink dripping through your mesh like that or with ink stuck in your mesh halfway printed whatsoever. This, if left over an extended period of time, can dry in your screen. If that does happen, that's when we use screen opener. Let's show you how it works. Here's a screen that's been sitting outside of the press for a while. Somebody did not cure the image area all the way, so we have some stuck ink in the image area right there. Now, whether this is in your press or not, what you're going to do is, it's best to wear gloves for this because it can get a little messy, so I'll go ahead and put some gloves on here. Once our gloves are on, we're going to go ahead and stick this in the press because that's how it's typically going to be when you're going to be cleaning the screen. This allows you to put it down and set it halfway on the palette like so to allow the image area to be open. Now, screen opener gives a fairly strong spray and you want to get a towel or some old t-shirt rag underneath the, shirt, the screen like this and take your screen opener and allow it to blow out. You want to keep your screen opener away from the rest of your ink, so keep the rest of your ink open. Now, you can already see this mesh starting to open up a little bit here. Spray it one more time. Opens the mesh right on up. Take it, scrub it off on the back side, and then scrub the rest of the screen opener out on the inside. And throw that away. You want to make sure to leave the outside of your screen clean. So, because we use screen opener on it, we kind of got to scrub it with a dry rag to get any ink residue off the outside of the screen so it does not transfer over to our next t shirt. It's going to be done with a dry rag or a dry shirt. It's called dry wiping the screen. Pretty much now our residue is all gone and our image area is left wide open so we can successfully print through it again. Because screen opener is so powerful, it's a little stinky. So you want to use it in a well ventilated area. Another option for screen opener that isn't quite as stinky is Orange Power Clean. Orange Power Clean screen opener is a little more user friendly, a little less stinky. It's not quite as powerful, but it does work very well to blow your screens out. Another way to use screen opener is to clean a wet on wet print or the back side of the screen in case you got ink on it. Now how can this happen? This can happen if you're printing wet on wet and let's say your image doesn't register and you need to re-register your image or something gets off alignment. If something gets off alignment on a wet on wet print, you need to wipe the back of the second screen down so you won't have ink smudging on top of ink that doesn't line up exactly. Other reason is if your flash dryer doesn't cure the ink or flash the ink properly and the ink's still wet and then you try to print on top of that, that can allow ink to transfer on the back side of your screen. 
these, are be, these would be some reasons why you need to clean the back of the screen. To do that, you want to use as little chemical as possible. And because screen opener is so powerful and it evaporates so quickly, it's a really good product to use for this. We're going to take a little screen opener and spray it on a rag. Then we'll take the rag and wipe the back of the screen down like that. It takes the back of the ink residue right on off. Now you see the ink is, uh, the screen is fairly dirty still. So we need to do this one or two times, two times wet, and then probably one more time dry to make sure all that residue is out of the screen. This is also something that you don't want to do if there's a lot of ink left in the image area because then you'll be scrubbing ink around and making a big old mess. Now our screen's a little cleaner. Time to do a dry wipe, so we'll take one of the junk sizes of the shirt that's dry and just do one more scrub. It's getting a little bit less, maybe just one more time. You're never going to be able to get it completely clean. You don't have to get it completely clean, but you want it to be like that or maybe even a little bit lighter so that it won't transfer onto your next shirt. There you are. We'll be ready to start printing again. Next, let's talk about cleaning the screen and cleaning the squeegee. If you're reclaiming your screen, or if you are saving your print for future use, or changing the color of the screen, you need to clean all the ink out of the screen. To do that, there's a couple different tools we could use. There is the metal spatula. There is the disposable ink card. There is the plastic ink card. And there's the goop scoop. Now, I'll kind of show you quickly how each one of these work. First, we have the goop scoop. This is great for scooping ink out of the screen, but as you can see, it leaves a lot of ink left behind, and we have to worry about cleaning this plastic surface off after we're done. So you always want a dry rag or junk t-shirt to use to clean. Now the goop scoop cleans pretty well, but without chemical, it can be a little difficult to wipe off. So we're just going to use some orange power clean right here. Get a little, little of the chemical on the shirt, and then that ink residue wipes on off. So Goop Scoop works okay, but probably not our optimal method. Next we have our ink card. Now this is what this is made for. It's got a little bit of a flexible surface to allow us to get down in here. Much better job of cleaning the ink out of the screen. Now you want to save your Plastisol ink. You don't want to let it go to waste. So we're going to scoop it back into the container. Keeping it outside of our image area, because if we get it in our image area, it gunks up. Now, with this card, it's a little hard to get it back into your ink container without making a mess, because the ink container is a little bit smaller than the card is. Then once again, cleaning wise, we have to take some screen opener, screen wash 147, or some orange clean kind of clean the card off like that. It doesn't really clean dry very well. These things are cheap, cost about a buck. So not too expensive, you can get a ton of them. Use one for every color even. Next method is our disposable ink card. Once again, flexible, which is nice. Now the disposable ink card costs you about three, cent, three or four cents cleans the screen up pretty well, can flex to fit in your ink container, and when you're done, there's no cleanup. You just throw it away. Something with no cleanup is always nice because there's no cleanup. We just simply toss it in the garbage can. It costs us three or four cents, and it's, you know, it's wasting a little bit but it's very, very simple and easy to use. So that's one of my other preferred method. Probably my favorite method though is your metal ink spatula. Now the metal ink spatula I like because it's flexible and it's extremely easy to clean. So this comes in either a six or eight inch. It flexes with your screen. So look how easy and nice it cleans the ink out of the screen. Now these are a little bit more expensive of course because they're metal. These will range you about $12, $13, depending on the size. But it gets nice up in the side of your frame right there. Edge of tape without breaking the tape. 
when you're cleaning the corners of your frame, you do not want to break the tape because that'll allow ink to get underneath the tape. That's why taping your screens properly, making sure your tape is directly in the corner of that frame, always makes for easier cleanup. But look how nice this spatula cleans up our frame. Also, we do the same thing with our squeegee here. Just clean as much ink off as possible out of the squeegee. Conforms to the squeegee blade very nice and easily. The more ink we can clean, the less chemical we're going to use, the more ink we're going to save, and the cleaner we keep our shop. The better tools you have to do that, easier that is on you. Now, the other thing I like about the ink card is that it can clean dry. We don't even have to use any chemicals. This is a dry shirt. One or two wipes, we're clean. We can use this for another color. Very simple to clean, easy to use. Now that our ink is primarily taken out of the screen and the squeegee, we can do an on-press clean. For this, we'll be using our press wash. To do this, I'm going to lay a junk shirt over the palette and then put the screen in the print position. I'm doing this to protect the palette so that the chemical running through the image area doesn't get our tape all messed up. Go ahead and put that in the print position. To do this, we're going to be using our press wash. That's going to be either Screen Wash 147, our press wash Enviro Wipe. This is an environmentally friendly, uh, much easier smelling product. For a more aggressive product and for use of solvent inks, we have our RC5 or our press wash LV. These are hotter solvents, so they'll evaporate faster out of the screen. And then, not optimally, but for really quick screens, we could use either our aerosol spray cans of our orange power clean or screen opener. I'm going to use our screen wash 147 to start out, and I'll show you the little bit differences in each product. Now, as you're doing this, you want a junk shirt or a paper towel rag, something that will absorb a lot of chemical and a lot of ink. The way you want to clean your screen really depends on the purpose of what you want to do with the screen. If you're going to reclaim your screen, then you don't have to clean it as thoroughly as if you're going to use it for a color change or if you're going to use it again in the future. Now, for a color change, that means we're going to be putting a different color of ink in the same screen. That's the most thorough we need to be. If we're saving the screen for future use, we can leave a little of the ink in the corners of the screen. We don't have to worry about cleaning all the ink out of the screen quite as well as if we're using it for a color change. You want your solvent, whatever you're using to clean the screen, to evaporate out of the screen, not leave a lot of residue or the residue in the frame. This is showing the Screen Wash 147. We'll do, put a little bit on the screen like this. These bottles work perfectly with a spray cap, though I'm not using it with a spray cap right now. You can see this, clean the ink up. Now, you do see a little residue left behind there. That can be either cleaned up with the other side of the rag using more chemical, and to get the, the residue out of the frame, we use the dry part of the rag. That leaves this area of the screen dry and clean. Now let's show the Enviro wipe. The screen wash 147 has a nice orange scent. Doesn't smell too bad at all compared to a lot of other chemicals out there that have very stinky solvent smells. The Enviro wipe smells even better. Nice orange scent. Cleans very well too. Be sure to keep the clean portions of our rag in use. Clean the frame. The aluminum parts of the frame clean very nice. Obviously, we're also using gloves to keep our hands clean. There's our Enviro wipe. Now this is a very clean screen right here. We can actually probably even do a color change on this screen right here. Let's show a couple of the other products in use. The more aggressive product, Press Wash LV, this is mainly used for solvent inks. It's a little stinky too, but cleans the screen very effectively. Great for color changes, great for harsher inks, harder to get out inks, thicker inks. We 
you can either apply the screen wash directly to the frame or to the t-shirt like we're doing in this case. Now this kind of comes down to how you print. The cleaner you print, the more ink you keep in your frame versus all over the frame on the outside, the easier your cleanup is. We're gonna switch back to our EnviroWipe now. The EnviroWipe is probably one of my more favorite products. I'm gonna clean the squeegee off with that. Cleans the squeegee nice and easy. Now this also depends on what we're gonna be using the squeegee for. If we're using the squeegee for more black ink, we don't have to take a ton of time in cleaning the squeegee. But if we're gonna use the squeegee for red or white or another color, we really wanna get all this black off the squeegee blade and off the handle so that it doesn't contaminate the next print. See, I'm getting a lot of use out of this junk t-shirt. Always keep your junk shirts handy because they will do you dividends in the long run. There we are, the squeegee's cleaned up. We can rack that, use it for another job or another color. Finish the cleanup here. Put a little more viral wipe on the screen. Just continue flipping our shirt in and out. Be sure to get all the corners of the ink done. There we have it, a clean screen. If this screen was gonna be saved, we'd be perfect ready to go because it's all cleaned out. There's a little bit of black ink left, but really there's no ink in the image area and there's no ink in the screen whatsoever. However, if we're gonna be using this for another color, we're gonna to wanna to take a fairly strong solvent like the screen opener and do one final quick clean of the screen to get any black ink residue off the frame. This works very well because it also evaporates very quickly. Use this in a ventilated area. Spray a little bit on like that. Get all your ink residue off. Probably be best to actually open up the registration marks too. Untape them if you're doing a color change. Make sure all the ink residue is off the back edges of your image too. This can be done with a dry rag or a dry t-shirt. There we are. Our screen can actually be used for another color now. One other area that's often overlooked during cleanup is your equipment. Now you invest a lot of money in your equipment, so keep it in good condition. That's done easily by using press wash, which is, you know, actually what it stands for press wash, washing your press. So you need either the screen wash 147, screen or press wash 147, or the press wash and viral wipe. Getting all that tack adhesive off your press, keeping it nice and clean. Very simple to do. You don't have to do this every job, but treat your press nice. It'll hold a better resale value. It'll stay cleaner. I mean, you've seen presses out there. I've seen presses out there that they've never been cleaned ever. They look like they're growing a coat of fur on them because they have so much tack and so much t-shirt lint all over them. Keep them clean, keep your conveyor dryer clean, keep your flash dryer clean, and you'll hold a higher resale value. Your shop will be more impressive when people walk into it, and it'll be easier to print because everything's clean. Final thing to clean up is your pallets. Now, if you're not using pallet tape, you're gonna need to take that screen wash 147, something like screen opener, kind of spray them down and spray all this tack adhesive off. You don't have to clean your pallets every time you can build a layer up of the tack adhesive and t-shirt fuzz. Now, if you're switching t-shirt colors, let's say you did a thousand black shirts and now you want to do white shirts, you might want to clean your palettes because you got all this black lint on here and now you're going to do white shirts. Also, if you get inconsistencies in your palette buildup, let's say we start getting a lot of these types of things, a lot of um, strings, fibers from the t-shirt, 
or if we only clean a portion of the palette, we have a lot of ink prints on the palette. If this starts to become unlevel, this is going to provide an unlevel printing field. When we print, we can have different things transferring onto the t-shirt actually through the design because we're not printing on a flat level playing field. To clean this manually, we'd have to use you know, a lot of rags, a lot of paper towels. However, if we're using pallet tape, we simply peel up the pallet tape. And boom, we have a nice clean pallet. All we have to do is apply brand new pallet tape, give us a center line to work with, and we're ready to start again. So that's why, you know, pallet tape's a little bit of an investment, but it's definitely worth it because it saves you tons of time during cleanup.